So right now in Oregon, in Washington, and even into Canada, there are smells that they cannot tell you what it is. Smells so bad that people can't sleep. It's like 1.30 in the morning and I can't sleep because there's this mysterious odor that has suddenly appeared in a, a large swath of Southwest Washington. And I think people are smelling it in Portland. It's like this horrible sulfuric rotting vegetable smell that is persistent. It's so bad that the police are like, hey, don't call us. We already know. It's so bad that even the geological people are like, look, it's not going to blow. It's not the mountain. It's not the volcano. We're out here checking. We're doing everything we can. We don't know what the smell so is. So people are reporting that this smells like rotten eggs, that it smells similar to smoke, but not 100%. It's burning their eyes. It's making them feel funny. They don't want to go outside, folks, understandably. So what could it be? Well, I did a little digging. I mean, guys, I dug. What I found was that there is some geoengineering going on in Oregon and the state of Washington over the fact, fact that they have been in a mega drought for about four years now. Now, having said that, I want you to remember this. There's something going on with the Arctic Circle, okay? There's something called methane, which is a natural gas that is trapped underneath that ice. Now, we know for a fact that that ice is starting to melt at a rapid pace. And in doing so, it is releasing the methane faster than it has ever happened in our memory. Okay, I'm not saying it's never happened, just in our memory. So what does that mean? I believe what's going on in Oregon and Washington and parts of Canada, the wind is blowing all of that methane straight at you guys. Don't tell me it can't because come winter, you guys get Arctic blast really, really badly in those areas. I found all the documentation. So it is my opinion, and maybe some of you can help me with this, that it is very possible that the crisis we are in with the Arctic ice shelf melting and the methane coming up is what is directly affecting Oregon, Washington, and Canada. Those areas along that I, I think it's I-5 corridor, because come on folks, this is not normal. If it's not Mount St. Helens, if it's not an earthquake, if they've proved all that, there's no fire, there's no industrial waste spill, then what else could it be but the methane from the Arctic Circle? It's not that hard to see how that would work. This is why the geoengineering must stop. They're actually making it melt faster by doing all of this cloud seeding and dropping all of the silver on us. Folks, I even found a change.org where the state of Oregon is a petition. People are desperate. They're like, please stop with all of this over us. And then I found where the state was passing legislation in Oregon going, oh, we're so for it. But this one person said, look, we'll, we'll get on board with this. If you take out this one clause in your legislation, look what it says. As long as people can hold you responsible for poisoning the land, themselves, or the water, if this goes wrong. If you'll take that out of the legislation, we'll back it for cloud seeding. Why would you need to put that in there if it's safe? Things that make you go, hmm. I'm just saying, tell me what you think. Do you guys think what they're smelling over there is the methane? Because watch this one last video. If you live in Washington state or you know anything about science, stay. Okay, I'm not wearing a tinfoil hat right now, but I wanna know thoughts. I'm going to post some images from like the Facebook groups and the emergency service group. Okay, this was last night. You could pause to read. Okay. One of the posts in the Facebook group this morning, 
Everyone is smelling it up and down I-5 I now, like Clark County to Cowlitz County. Just curious and looked this up because we are on a fault line. People at the coast, like the Oregon coast, Washington coast are smelling it. For reference, that's the fault line I'm talking about. And I just, I'm really curious what your thoughts are. Could the smell be a gas leak, a transportation gas leak? Could it be earthquake warning? What are your thoughts? Two men are standing along the north-south magnetic axis. The ground is level. We checked to make sure there was no slope. The man on the left in the blue jacket appears to be taller. But note what happens when they trade places. Now, it's the other way around. The vortex covers roughly three quarters of an acre. In one part of the circle sits okay, the house of mystery. Inside this house, brooms stand upright and balls seem to roll uphill. A Scottish physicist named John Lister devoted 40 years of his life trying to unravel its secrets. Lister conducted more than 14,000 experiments here at the Vortex. He even corresponded with Einstein. But what he uncovered, no one will ever know. He burned all his papers before he died, saying the world isn't yet ready for what goes on here. Uh, <laughs> so the, insane. the guy that studied this for four, did 1400 experiments burned, burned his shit. papers and Yo. said the world's not what? ready for that's wild. Wow. That's don't forget. Hit that follow button. Subscribe, like, comment, share this. Let's blow up the Internet. We think we know what the smell is going on in Portland, Oregon, in the state of Washington and Canada. You guys, it's the methane from the melting Arctic polar caps. Bam. Told you. Love you guys.